Hello everybody and welcome to the Geoglyph project. Today we're going to be doing problem number 44 of the Rhind Papyrus. We did number 41 before and we're going to be using a few techniques from the last lesson. So uh, check that video uh, before this one. So as a reminder, the Rhind Papyrus is an ancient Egyptian document from 1650 BCE. And we are doing the geometry section uh, problem 44. So the problem is calculate the volume of a rectangular granary that has a length 10, width 10, and height 10. So that's basically multiplying uh, the volume of a cube that has sides 10. It means that it has a thousand cubits. So that's the solution using modern mathematics. Now let's go to the papyrus and see how they solved it. Example of reckoning the volume of rectangular granary. The length is 10, the width 10, and the height is 10. What is the amount of grain that goes into it? Multiply 10 times 10, it makes 100. Multiply 100 by 10, it makes 1000. Add its half, it makes 1500. That's the content in Khar. Take 1 20th of 1,500. It makes 75. That is the content in hundreds of quadruple hecat. Now let's go to the papyrus and see how they solved it. First thing they do is make a multiplication uh, of the width and the length which gives you the area of the square on top, that's 100. Then you multiply by the height, it gives you 1,000. Then we need to go from cubits to khar. As we see in our table, a cubit has 30 hekat and a khar has 20. So to convert cubits to khar, you need to multiply by 1 plus 1 half. So that's what they are doing here. They multiply a thousand by a half, gives you 500. You sum a thousand and 500, gives you one 500. So that's the volume calculated in khar. Then we need to go from khar to uh, 100 quadruple hekat. And like we did in lesson 41, we divide by 20. So as a reminder, going from cubits to khar, you multiply by three halves or one and a half. Then to go from khar to uh, 100 quadruple hekat, you divide by 20, which gives us the result 75 hundred quadruple hekat. Now that we know how to solve the problem, we're going to look at the hieroglyphic solution as you can see, we first multiply 10 by 10, it gives you 100. Then we multiply the 100 by 10, it gives you 1,000. This sign here means half, so we multiply 1,000 by a half, it gives you 500. We sum the 2 and it gives us 1,500. The reminder. There's a lesson about numbers in hieroglyphics. Uh, so the units are strokes. The, the inverted U's are tens. That curl is hundreds. And the lotus, or that upside down uh, arrow, means a thousand. So now we have two last line in the demonstration. We uh, want to go from khar to uh, hekat, which means that we need to divide by 20. So we start by dividing by 10. So we have the mouth and 10, that means one tenth of 1,500. It gives you 150. We divide that by 2. It gives us 75, which is the result we are looking for. We have a volume that is 7,500 quadruple hekat. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and see you very soon.